warm, crackly, little crackly at the beginning. Home sound of vinyl. There you go, Woodcock. He had the 88 <coughs> full of Abdul. Straight up, don't tell me you got it. And it's all like, you know, that period, I mean, you had like Rick Astley never going to give you up, and no thank you because I'm pissed, sort of fast. And you had sort of, um, <coughs> yeah, the Abdul straight up, <coughs> and then you, and a bit later, fast forward a couple of years in 1990, you had Chesney Hawks, I am the one and only. Da -da 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 -da. But you want to date with Duran Duran, wouldn't you? You'd have them round the game, wouldn't you? Well, the thing is with Duran Duran, in the early 80s, all the girls in Duran Duran, and when I was like going in the 80s, we are talking about not the mid, not 85 plus, we are talking about like 80 to 85, that sort of period. All the girls were into madness. My girl's mad at me, dee 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 dee, all that, all that crap. And bad manners. And the, and the charm was like borderline boys girls, but the boys were all into Led Zepp, Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water, Dan Dan Dan, all the head banging, <coughs> Smoke on the Water, the fire in. And this is a big. Oh, you this this is a bit. No, no, never mind it. This is really big in the 80s, that head banging. <coughs> all this sort of on the school hop. <laughs> all that crap, all that crap. And the girls were all more into like the modern news and the madness and the bad manners and all that sort of thing. And like <coughs> downloading, I mean, it's all very well, but it's all plastic music, it's all bubblegum. Chewing gum for years. Well, people just don't know how to make music these days. No, they don't. I mean, <coughs> fair enough, I mean, stock it can go to them and all that crap. It really was crap, let's face it. Yeah. I mean, what, what people were spending, and they might well, suck in the massive. I was born what in the 80s. Yeah, what <coughs> they were doing is they were making music for, it was pigeonholed into like 17, 7 to like 13 year old sort of age bracket, you know, the little girls were like, yeah. oh, Kylie Bill says, well, and they'd pester the parents. For the money to buy the records, and that's what they did. And I mean, whether you love him or love him, Peter Wilson, he's made his millions. I mean, there was Pete like. Waterman, is he the. Um, is he similar to what's his name? The other one? Matt, Matt Stockton. The Irish guy who did it with Simon Cowell. Um, oh, God, what, the, um, uh, what's his name? Yeah. <coughs> He wasn't Louis a, Walsh. Louis Walsh, so the same kind of thing. Because mm. I remember the. Um, well, the thing is, the Sucker and Waterman, you had like Pete Walsman, who was like the big name of them, and you had um, Matt Stock and Mike Aiken, and then it's like Stock Aiken and Walsman. And they're just like doing, I mean, okay, I mean, you can slam them and criticize, and, and it was like. No, no doubt about it. It was like it was like pop music. Let's 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 not make any bones about it. It's pop <coughs> music. But I mean, you, you need the market. You need like seven to like thirteen year old girls, teeny boppers. Seventeen year old girls. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, seventeen year old girls. Seven to thirteen year old girls. So that's that's sort of market, roughly, give or take. And I'll go to her parents and say, "Oh, Jason, I'm a I want to buy a little bit," and they're doing. It. I, and you absolutely in the late eighties and nineties because remember this is in the age of factorism, free enterprise, you know, raking it in the stock market, da 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 da, and you thought <coughs> Pete Wilson had saw that opportunity. And thought, well, I'll do bubblegum music, and I'm going to and I'm going to rake it in. He's going to make a caning out of it, and that's what he's done to his credit. I remember the hell of the free enterprise. It's shit, wasn't it? Yeah, and it, it toppled, and it topped over in the 80s, and Mrs. Thatcher didn't do anything about it. What, well, she didn't even give him any compensation? I don't think so, like, she didn't <coughs> do anything for, you know, and Terry Rake was kidnapped in 87, and John, John McCarthy was kidnapped in 86, and they were both... Well, was the Israeli thingy the, the Olympic one? The Olympic one? Did the Israeli Olympic team get kidnapped? I don't think so, no. Yeah. 
but the thing is, like, I mean, okay, we're like in a recession now, but it's not half as bad as, as a recession that was in the mid 80s. We're only halfway through this one, mate. No, no, I'm not joking. I mean, it really was. Maggie Thatcher, she just slaughtered this country. She closed down the mines, she closed down all the industry, she closed down everything. <coughs> oh, the mines weren't very useful, were they? All you found down there was loads of coal. Well, they're providing employment. I mean, if the mines, <coughs> if the mines were slow, like Mr. Hemming and Mr. Sherrod would be going down there, wouldn't they? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that kind of makes you wonder what Mr. Hexton Collin would be doing. But you see, the trouble is Labour, they couldn't provide an effective opposition to the Conservatives in the 80s. <coughs> and what happened, you had Kinnock there in the 80s. Oh, he's, I love Kinnock, yeah. He's, he's a brilliant leader, but people, I think people in their minds couldn't see him as Prime Minister. And it took a while for like Tony Blair to come along, because they were <coughs> like waiting in the wings, Blair and Brown, or something. And people, people saw then, 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 then like Labour's time had come. But you've still got the monarchy, haven't you? Well, I think the Queen's a bit of a waste of money. Oh, absolutely. <coughs> this is surely, you know, I mean, when you think about it. I mean, we were having a vote the other day. Should Charles or William get the throne next? Um, neither of them. But, no, I mean, like, I was saying silly, I mean, like, you've got direct pay. People are applying for direct payments for whatever, you know, and, um, and they can't get it. And I mean, if you abolish the money, <coughs> and you had, you had to say, either a head of state which stands across to your Alexis, or no head of state at all, it should be my 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 choice, really. So who do you have then? No one. No personally, one. No. And and um, and all that money that's spent on like Sandringham, that's spent on Balmoral, <coughs> that's spent on Buckingham. How this is spent on Clara's house, is spent on all the well, I mean, you know, I mean, the Queen, I mean, you know, like how these official cars. They have these official cars, don't they? <coughs> Which is and, and she doesn't have a tap in her car, so official cars, or a number plate. She doesn't have a number no. plate on her And you've got people like Colin who are struggling to pay their car insurance. I didn't think Colin paid any tax. And he does. He, well, he doesn't pay tax and such. He pays insurance, doesn't he? He pays it by monthly with a direct debit. And it's costing him about 80 quid a month. And he's saying that because he's, and I think it's disgusting him because he's unemployed or on benefits. He has to pay more for his car insurance. Even though he's like, bought a car that's cheap to insure. I mean, that doesn't make sense at all. <coughs> really? <coughs> I mean, he's high risk though, Jonathan. He's not high risk. Have you ever been, have you ever been run down by Colin? No. I mean, he's got to take, you know, he's got to take, if he has to take jazz to the vets or live jazz and livers to the vets, it puts him in the car. So, how do you explain Mr. Hex to Well, he has blackouts, doesn't he, apparently? Yeah. You can call it that. Yeah. Mm. But if I, 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 one thing I will say: if they give Jeremy Clarkson <coughs> in like the birthday honours, the New Year's honours, or anything like that, if they give him an OB, a CB, a KB, or an iPod, I will personally write to the Prime Minister. Anthony Mollock, whoever it is, the Queen of I know we will object because I, I don't think that man. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just, he's just up. I'm sorry, but that man, he, I like, I like him. He's done some good stuff on the telly. Don't get me wrong. But he's just so up his own backside. He's up it. It's unbelievable. <coughs> I mean, he's I. Roman, he, he's just, I mean, he won't come out and admit it, but I mean. I mean, really, I mean, I mean, I don't know, I mean, he's like, he's a millionaire, let's face it. Yeah. And he's got a nice house in Chipping North, in Oxfordshire. True blue Tory. You won't get any rugby league down there, I'm telling you. I know, because I've been down there. Is it not nice? 
it's all right, but it's very affluent down there. It's very like country villages, you know, very sort of, uh, you know, sort of down south, sort of 